Okay, we should be live now. After I was accidentally streaming to the wrong server there, because I left my settings on. Sometimes I'm a dumb. Yeah, there goes host mode. go. Let this go for a little bit. Chat, if you can see slash hear me, feel free to mention. And uh, hopefully things will go all right. Yes, yeah, some dark secret Mario now. Some extremely powerful 7,000 star strats here coming in. Oh yeah, I should probably update the name of the stream. That is probably a good idea. Bam, information updated. Cube, I assure you, I will be messing up like crazy. It is, it's going to be real good. My time here is going to be real good because it means I'll have a lot to come back to. Have a lot of ways to lower it, I'm sure. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm expecting from this. Like, I've been practicing the second and third floor for like two, three days now, and. I more or less have them, but we'll, we'll see how it goes in the actual run. That said, it's almost 11 o'clock, so I might as well just get going since this probably won't finish until quite a bit later. So, timing for this starts when the system resets, uh, or when the system powers on. So, uh, let's make it happen. I get to redo all of my old splits, which is fun, uh, for like first and first floor and basement kind of stuff. So I'll get a lot of golds on that at least. We'll see what goes well and what doesn't. Quite, but oh shit I got it all right well that's a strong start uh, so I have learned how to do the bomb clip but I'm not I think comfortable enough to do it regularly so we are just gonna do the this star normally By that, I mean badly. Oh shit! I thought that was gonna knock me off and not give it to me, uh, but I did get it. So hey, this runs off to a good start. Now I just have to remember to actually hit my split, because I've been having trouble with that. I do it when the screen blacks out, for the record, because I kind of have some time. Two minutes seems good. Pop out this way, go to the slide first, 
If you've watched my runs in the past, I'm going to be doing some slightly different stuff, because this is now a full 70 star run, um, but it will mostly be the same as what I've been doing so far. Bonk. Uh, yeah, there we go. Got the, got the good bonk. And then missed it. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. Um, just gonna go straight to Womp's Fortress and try to remember to get the uh, those two stars later. And by later, I mean after I do Womp's Fortress. So, you know, strong start, but can't win them all. Oops. I'm a little surprised I missed that, but whatever. Let's do Womp. I started moving up higher on him when I tried to ground pound through him, because he would, like, land on me a lot. Okay. I even put myself in a good spot, too. Oh, that's good. I think I'm going to do the 100 coin star next because it's been giving me a lot of trouble, so I kind of want to just get it out of the way. Gotta make sure I remember what the route is. not just miss random coins. Alright, now for the first part I always fuck up. Okay. Now for the second part I always fuck up. Okay. That was a little cowardly, and I paid for it. Damn it. Ugh, I wish I had gotten the uh, red coin instead. Oh, well. Not too, too awful. Since I can just go right over here and get it. Ugh, boy, I cannot make that jump tonight, huh? Carefully get these, because this one is terrifying. Oops. Ugh, oh, that's unfortunate. Not the nightmare case, though. Ah, oh, that's double annoying, though. <laughs> that almost killed me. God, that would have been real bad. So this was not a great hundred coins, but... I didn't die on it, which means that it was, you know, not an awful one. I could believe that Trent Crimson Dragoon. Um, I don't, I haven't heard that that affects lag on RTA stuff. Ugh, glad I got that out of the way. Grab... Uh, turn the camera the wrong way there, because I think I'm going to go to this star next. Oops, that is further off than I thought it was. The exact position of the high tower there in, like, 3D space always kind of fucks me up. There we go. Pretty good so far. Do need to go back to the slides though, which are kind of going to slow down the time overall. Um. Let's see. Do 
this star next. Hopefully get it on the first try. No promises though. Let us go. Mario. Okay, that's good. Um, what stars do I need now? Top of the fortress and the owl, right? I continue to not do the owlless star because I continue to suck at it. This one is the tower. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I, I am doing that with the owl. Um, which honestly, I could still fuck up. For some reason, I just cannot line the owl up properly a lot of the time, but uh, owlless would be worse. <laughs> Yeah, the owl in general is bad, but doing it without the owl, uh, is a very difficult thing. Alright, so that's these ones, but I do still have to get the two from the slides before this split is over. Um... Ugh. I'm gonna have to practice that movement to get back up there at some point. For now, we're taking a long way. All right, let's uh, hope we don't die this time. I would strongly prefer not dying. I'll take it. Dying is generally ill-advised. And yeah, my submarine in time is not great. Uh, I don't have very good lag mitigation right now. Um, haven't practiced that too much. Boy, I am having so much trouble getting Mario to turn around on the first bounce here. Don't know what it is exactly. I've also not quite been able to get as far as you're supposed to there, but eh, I, I will take any run where I get it. Like, that's, that's like maybe a three second save. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so that's that split. Now this shit. I am not going for the faster strat of getting the lowest coins first because it kind of messes me up. I very rarely fail the wing cap stage, but it's nerve wracking every time because it, uh, the wing cap is sort of more of a suggestion than a control scheme. Fuck! Yeah, like that kind of shit. Hop over this way, try to get this. Nope, didn't get the double jump on that. Whoops. That's only a few seconds. Now it's Bowser. Um, I suck at all the Bowser stages, but Dark World in particular. <laughs> There's some stuff right at the start that is like, ugh. Yeah, basically if you dive to the lowest ones on the right immediately, you can cut like a half turn out of your time, but it's 
it, it won't fuck you up too much, but it can just, you know, mess, mess with you. There we go. Not exactly doing this as fast as possible, but I'd rather do it as alive as possible. Which is to say, again, this is one of my worst stages by far. Almost just died there. Happy I didn't. Embrong. Embrong. Uh, thank you for the following. Thank you for the. F <laughs> thank you for the follow. I could be taking this a lot faster than I am. I would rather be safe and alive. That backflip was supposed to be a long jump, though. Here is the part where I can stand to save a fuck ton of time because I know that you can do these much faster. I just never, but like I haven't put in the time practicing it if I'm being honest. Um, and like you wall jump between these walls here to get up to this coin. I haven't done that yet. One of those things that I know I can do to improve my time eventually. And thank you, LT. Oh god, I do not like this camera at all. Yeah, someday I'm gonna learn how to do this stage and the amount of time that I bring this down is gonna be hilarious, but uh, now is not that time. a lot better at Bowser throws. Uh, kind of just from doing all this speedrun practice, honestly. Yeah, this level will honestly go down at least a minute. Okay, this next star is new uh, to the folks who have watched me do my, like, preliminary runs. I was skipping this one because it scared me. can do this backup strat because it was given like the this wall jump right here was giving me some shit uh, when I was practicing it earlier today there we go always dive too early there uh, less a run change more of a uh, run omission previously <laughs> Uh, because I just—I was just not getting. Also, I did not split fast enough there because that was supposed to be where I did it. Uh, now we do Cool Cool Mountain. God help me. So slightly late on that split, but eh. Not too worrisome. Mario can to bring that down to me. Wow! I never get that wall jump first time. Yeah, like the slide that I did, if I had triple jumped where I was trying to do it the first time, I would have been able to take me straight to the star. Oops. 
Come over here. <laughs> Fucking baby ass baby penguins. Oops. Well, not the way I wanted to go, but does not put me in danger. I can still do that. Did you know this star spawns closer if you're in the Japanese version? Like, it's like right above the penguin there. It's one of the version differences. Okay, three more stars to let to get, and they all involve the slide. Um, the first slide, I'm going to take the, like, intended shortcut rather than the faster shortcut. Because I still need to practice the faster shortcut. So, normally you would just jump off on the right right here and end up at the end of the slide. Uh, I can do that, but not consistently, so I am just doing this one instead. Mostly for my own peace of mind. I know I need to practice that someday, but now is not yet the time. Okay, two more stars, uh, and they're kind of a doozy, but they are the same time, so we'll see how this goes. I know I can avoid grabbing that tree, but I've never been very good at it. Kick over here. Bring the camera down to me. Get myself killed long jumping. Grab the safety coin. And now, the real shit. At last, Saya people. I am looking to miss a few coins here, make my life a little easier. Which is, of course, why I haven't missed any. One missed. 80. I want. I want 85, basically. 86 is fine, though. Hello, Squirrel Token. 85 or 86 are what you're looking for there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Camera did not want to just. Uh, oh god. Camera did not want to like help me there. There we go. Ugh, at least I got that, and that's the more important part here. Because if you fuck either of these stars up, you are adding several minutes to your time. So, I'll take the extra, like, ten seconds that I spent there trying to line that up. And, uh, that's Cool Cool Mountain done. Yeah, basically going into the final part of the slide, you want uh, 85 or 86 coins because if you have if you get it on the last or the second to last coin of that run, then you win. Then you like uh, can long jump to it. If you don't get it on that, you have to do a triple jump, and it gets kind of fucky from there. Yeah, the Mario 64 camera uh, isn't great, but. In a speedrun, you start to learn to make it work for you, I would say. I have been fucking this up, like, all week, so we'll see how this goes. Yep. Yep. Let's see if I can do this this way. I found that doing that side flip to, like, immediate dash over is the safest way to do it, but that you sometimes, like, or, like, that you can end up in a weird place, uh, on the other side. So I kind of use it as a backup strat. MD Beastly Skills, thank you for the follow. Hello. 
If you want to learn a lot about the Mario 64 camera, just do a fucking speedrun. You will bend it to your will. Some things you just gotta take uh, on faith, though. And yeah, Ty and I are like sort of learning the game together. Uh, I'm a bit ahead of him right now, though. There we go. There's some dumb shit you can do with this fight. I'm not doing it. Oops. Uh, I'm just hoping I don't fall off the mansion because that's the dangerous thing here. why I'm doing that as safe as possible. Beautiful. And this time I finally hit a split. Not a fish. Thank you for the follow. Now I have to catch Mips, which uh, may go badly. <laughs> I don't really have a good backup strategy for Mips, so either I catch him first try or uh, the Benny Hill music starts. Yeah, Sonic 3D Blast is like an isometric camera. Um, there were 3D games before this. I would say this is one of the first, particularly 3D platformers, that kind of got its shit together. Okay, good. Got that. Yeah, Big Boots Hitchcock is gigantic, and your Ground Pound hitbox is also gigantic. So, together that makes for a hilariously easy boss fight if you know both of those facts. Now it's Shifting Sandland. Uh, three stars in this, all of which are kind of tough. Oops. Wow. Oh, God. I just... Oh, okay. I didn't get myself killed, which is, you know, first step. Um, he's going to go over to that star. I can hopefully catch up to him here. If not, I just chill on this platform. Okay, not a bad recovery. Certainly could have been worse. Yeah, that's sort of my backup strat for that now. Um, try to get over to the pillar that he always flies over to. And basically hit him uh, when he gets off of that. Oop, too far. Shit. Okay, that could have been worse than it was. Normally I hold back enough to get that, but that's fine. One more star in that, and I will have officially not fucked it up. Loon, thank you for the host. Yoink. Hit this. Try not to lose my Koopa shell on the third pillar. I've noticed that this pillar in particular tends to kill your shell. Managed to avoid it that time, but I do hope I hit the middle of that platform. Oh, well this time that one did it. There's some weird edges. Okay, I did get that, which is good. Uh, now what we do, because I don't have a Koopa shell, is kick our way up. Now... Ugh, okay. Did that one correctly. It was a pretty good split right there, honestly. I'm having a pretty good run to start this, which means that it's gotta go wrong soon. Lethal Lava Land is next, and I get six stars in this. Yeah, I've, like, practiced all of these stars. Um, I have never done the entire run in one shot before, though. Nice! I never get that right. I mean, I didn't land on the star, but... One of the few star- one of the few paintings where I do actually know what the optimal way to get across that is, by the way. Smugsley Adams, thank you for following. It's a very good name, too. 
Um, but basically, like, the long jump butt slide thing is the correct way to enter Lethal Lava Land, because the painting is low enough down that that can hit it. I also almost missed that star, but luckily star hitboxes are gigantic. Now the bullies. Uh, these will either go really well or really badly. No in-betweens. Uh, not great. Did live, though. Maybe. Well, it looks like we're doing this the slow way. And that I'm fucking it up, too. Well, I didn't die, but it was an embarrassingly bad bully. Now I have to do it again, but better. There we go. He, the timing on that is a little tight. Ooh, that was almost quite bad. Oh, I hit that that time, which means I can do this! Oh, shit! That is quite a bit of time saved. I then smash. Ugh, god. Yeah, I hit the cycle on that really well. And then I fuck up that jump. Oh, well. Boy, I cannot deal with the big bullies today. This is good. <sighs> okay. Two more stars in Lethal Lava Land. Um, one of them I am going to do very, very safe. Let's put it that way. I'm doing that too late, I think. Huggernaut SA, thank you for the follow. So yeah, we're gonna do the not jump up the volcano route because I still can't get that one. That is probably one of the tricks that I am like the worst at right now. Okay, I hit that pole. I have oft I have missed that pole more than once, so that's another potential danger. Yeah, exactly. Like it's the first time I'm doing this, so I might as well just, you know, set a time with the shit I know. And the lava boost, like, neither Ty nor I can do that shit consistently, so I'd I'd rather get the star that way if I can do it on my first try. I'm sure there's some specific thing that as soon as we do that, we'll get it completely correct every single time, but it feels pretty shitty. <laughs> Dove a little late there. If I do that this time, I die, so... Whoo! That was about as late as I could have dove there. Now we do Hazy Maze. Hazy Maze is one of my favorite levels, I think. Um, just in general. The roots in it are all like really nice and symmetrical. Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't think I got the save there. <laughs> Whoop. All right, we're gonna do this the regular way. Um, I have figured out how to fall through that to make that actually happen, though. That star, I'm gonna go back to the lake for the second star that's over there. Um, Cause that one often can give me trouble. I was technically going for that, but then I missed the, I missed my jumps and that's. Hey, I got it that time. Didn't get the thing, but I have a recovery. If I can get the recovery. I have found doing this strat here in Mario Cam tends to get me better results. Oh god. When I can do it. Hmm. There we go. Yeesh. Now watch me die on this, so I gotta do that all again. Okay. By the way, the timing for this split ends when I go talk to that toad over there. I am reminding myself of that more than my viewers because I uh, forgot to do that in a recent run and it totally fucked the splits up. Let's try to do this star. Nope. Oh god. Yeah, when I fuck that one up like that I die. I should do that the safe way. It's like, uh, there's there's levels of that star where if I hit it in wrong ways one time, it's fine. Uh, if I hit it that way, I slide into the pit and die. And that's kind of sad. Let's see. I will instead do this the safe way. Ugh. Starman, I can't speak German anymore. <laughs> Sad, I know. Um, okay, last two stars are Watch for Rolling Rocks and Toxic Maze, both of which are in this room. There's a fun little symmetry to this room, uh, to this level. Ich kann nicht Deutsch sprechen. Oh, I forgot that there's like a lip there just designed to fuck you up. Figures, the stars that I'm good at are now the ones that I'm kind of like, bleh, thing. Uh, no, it'll scroll up as we, as we do splits. That's basically how uh, live split works. I don't know why it doesn't buffer more so that you can see more of it, but... That or the second half of the run is just one single split. I'm very confident in my ability to do it. Okay, time to try out. Nope. If you can uh, hit just a little bit to the right and a little bit further of where I did, you can actually skip this elevator entirely and land like directly in this room, which is a cool skip, but it's pretty tough to pull off. Luckily, it's pretty safe, because as long as you, you know, land on the, uh, back side of this... Oops. You can recover from it. Yeah, the big thing about this level is that, like, every room is sort of... Like, doesn't have a proper ceiling, which means that you can do a lot of really dumb shit if you can get high enough. I love this level. Fight me. Toad. Toad, please. Is 
So there's that split. Now we go to Dire Dire Docks. Didn't quite get the movement right there, but honestly, all of my basement movement has been pretty decent today. In the sense that I have done it much worse than this. <laughs> Yes, time for Das Boot. Well, actually, first it's time for Sunken Treasure. Before we enter Lag City. I have noticed Mario will pretty consistently clip into the wall there. I'm gonna hit this at the wrong angle and oh god I'm gonna die. Uh no, I think I'm safe. <laughs> I wouldn't that about as wrong as it is possible to, but was not punished. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that would have been very bad. So chests first, uh then sub, which sucks. Hello, Cosmic Afro. Now, uh, a thing about this is that the frame rate of the emulator is about to fucking die. Uh, if you've never seen Dire Dire Docks before, it is pretty woof. To the point where, like, I know that there are ways you can reduce this. I have just currently taken to, uh, getting myself into a spot that has less lag. Anyway, uh, getting up this sub sucks, and I hate it. Oops, Cosmic Afro, thank you for the follow. Oh hey, I got up the sub first try because I took a billion seconds to like, set myself up. That's definitely gonna be a star that I'll have to like, workshop some shit for later. Whee! Luckily, we're done with that entirely, so <laughs> we, we don't have to go back to that room ever. Missed this one. Missed that one too, which kind of sucks. Uh, so the thing about the Manta Ray is you can't actually follow him too closely because the rings don't activate immediately. You swim faster than he does, which means that you can basically make it impossible uh, to get them. Or like basically you can fuck yourself over is what I'm saying. And also Starman, thank you for the follow. Also Vinesaw Stingdong, thank you for the follow. Sorry, Vine Skaw's name, Ding Dong. Powerful. Bowser in the Fire Sea. Uh, so this is where my runs up to this point, like that I've actually timed, have ended. Everything after this is Wild West. We'll see how it goes. At least I'm getting me some lives. Okay, I'm glad I hit that. I've had trouble with that in the past. Like, sometimes it just doesn't do it for me. Eh. Could have been better, but... Yeah, poor Mario. Got a burn he bum for speed. I am going to miss this cycle, it looks like, because of this fucking bully. Um, get out of here. I probably should have just gone for this. Uh, 
instead of waiting for this cycle, but eh. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I also know you can do some real dumb shit uh, to get up here, but I have not practiced that yet, so... Oops. It's kind of an issue. Nope, I'm good. Okay, get that. I don't think I make that ledge, unfortunately. Which kind of slows me down quite a lot, but eh. Oops. Okay. Camera kind of missed you, Mario, there, but you know, you do you. Try to land in this. Okay. Next split coming up. Honestly, this is one of my better times for the, uh, like, 40-star run, on, like... Oops. God, I forgot that Bowser, like, has a half-second of invulnerability there. The fucker. Really? God, he is lazy Susaning real hard right now. Uh, oh shit! Okay, so now we're into the part of the speedrun that I have never done fully timed before. So, um, if this goes disastrous, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Speedy way to get out of the basement there. pop up that way. Very tiny secret there. Trying to dump into the painting as low as possible. Um, if I got that correct... Yeah, there we go. I missed him. So we are going for 100 coins and uh, secrets in the shallows and sky or something like that is what it's called. Since both of those coins take you just around the map. Uh, it makes sense to go at the same time. Wow, these guys are bodying me today. No. There we go. Powerful ground pounding right now. ITT. Thank you for the follow. I don't have time to parse that right now. But thank you nonetheless. Hey, I got that first try. That killed me uh, in practice earlier today. Doing pretty good at this right now, um, as long as I don't get pancaked. Or I guess flapjacked. It's the proper terminology for this. That's one star. Um, I want... Oh god, I can't get this. I think I need... I think I am officially in backup territory here. Um, yeah. I think I'm still safe, though. Cause this guy drops me five coins. Yeah, I'm okay with the backup coin box. Nailed it. Quite literally. I have missed this jump more than once. Now, normally I wouldn't have to get this coin box, but since I fucked up, I had to. Boy, I hope that star isn't... God damn it! <laughs> there we 
There we go. Okay, that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. As far as recoveries go, that's fine. Three more stars in this. Uh, let us do this one first. Fuck you. Meh. We're going to wall jump off of this, and nice, made that first try. I'm actually, I'm hitting my tricks really well tonight. Careful. Please do not besmirch poor Daz's name in Wet Dry World. <laughs> She's had enough in life. Okay, I couldn't do that the fast way, but I am doing this the safe way. Um... Oh, right, that's the last time. I had a bit of a brain fart. Like, I know this star that I was going for right now, but I know that there is one other star that I want to get in here, and for a half second I was like, uh, oh shit, I'm about to get owned. Um, oh, wow. If that fire had hit me, I would have run off the edge and lost a ton of time. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Okay, now's the one where I have to actually jump properly. Boing. Still landing there anyway. I need to practice that jump a bit. Um, and honestly, speaking of jumps that I probably need to practice. Let's do this. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, not even the hard part, really. This is fine. Yeah, that teleport there is one of those things that, like, you either, like, you saw it on a fucking Nintendo Power magazine or some shit, or you just never knew. Okay, relatively speaking, that wasn't so bad. And that is the last star in Wet Dry World. Uh, I stopped that split a little early, but it's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, uptime. I think it should work. I believe I've given Nightbot that command now. Oh, I totally forgot to, like... Factor this Toad's star into, like, the name of the run, but you get him either here or, uh, for on your way from Tiny Huge Island. Whoops, forgot it. I forgot to put him in my splits entirely. Oh, well. Now it's Tiny Huge Island, um, a place where I might lose a lot of time. We'll see. Oop. Particularly in the tiny part of the mi of the island. Uh, pretty hate machine. Thank you for the bits. Doing this as safe as I can ma as I can manage, which also still means like putting me in a lot of really awkward situations. This level was not meant for Mario, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Triple jump onto the tree to avoid that fire. Ugh, do my best to avoid this. Uh, and now we'll see if I die. Yes! Okay, wow. I have been doing a lot of my tricks correctly tonight. Yeah, this level has some uh, issues. <laughs> Up next is Piranha Flowers. God, I fuck up, like, the location of that first one always and forever, but... As long as I don't run off, we're fine. Which makes that one that I had just killed there kind of the most dangerous one. I believe I hit that perfectly. 
Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 had an entire world that was like this. <sighs> okay, just one more star in this level and it's actually the easiest. So we're... Tiny huge island, we come out of relatively unscathed here. I say, before I get the coin. <laughs> I just realized the hubris of the statement I just made. Okay, now the camera sort of can fuck with me. Here. All right. Everything is fine. All of this is fine. Yeah, uh, Rainbow Ride is going to be terrifying, <laughs> frankly. Um, this is this split done. The 49 here is because I think I got the Toad Star a little bit early, so that's, that's a discrepancy here. Um, we should be getting five stars in Tiny Huge, in Tall Tall Mountain. And first, we do some shit. Sajmir Dulai, thank you for the follow. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I just did a thing there. Not so old scratch. Thank you for the bits. Um, I can explain that trick later. I will not do it while I am like live on a run. Ooh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, it's not too much of a fuck up. Honestly though, that's probably like the biggest fuck up so far, because basically I was trying to triple jump there, but I didn't start it early enough. Dropping neutral might have. I know that on that slide, like, like that part right there is definitely a slippery slide for whatever reason, um, which uh, fucked me up. Now I'm going back to scale the mountain so that I can get the second star. Oh fuck, I just- oh, I almost died there. Uh, when you're doing dumb clips like that, it is very easy for you to die. Oh god, I just- ugh. Um, okay, recovery. I am gonna get this star instead. Cause, ugh. Oh, there we go. Alright, make sure I've positioned Mario carefully. And, uh, go. Ta-da! Okay, so now hopefully this time I don't fuck up uh, this wall clip again, or at least the uh, shy guy up there who burned me. I did end up on the wrong level, which is unfortunate, but I can deal. There's an invisible wall there, I guess. News to me. This is a star that could cost me a lot of time. Um, for the record, because if I miss this long jump that I'm about to try to do... I also don't know why, but I just do not grab this ledge sometimes. Okay, that, I was a little scared that I overshot that there. <laughs> yeah, horse breeder's a person who breeds horses, not a person who breeds with horses. I don't know why this is in question here. Ah, uh, there are two stars left to get. Rodriguez, Rodriguez Lewis, 305. Thank you for the follow. And I almost forgot what they were, but I, I now remember. Very professional. Certainly doing this slowly, but we are very much in the safety strats place uh, of the run. I say as I get ready to cannoneer to my death. Ugh, 
that was almost bad. I thought I overshot it, and then I almost undershot it, correcting for the overshot. One more star here, and then we're done. And it's actually a pretty quick and easy one, so... Oh, one more on this floor, and then we get to, uh, Trouble Town. <laughs> the third floor is, quite frankly, a gigantic step up from the third floor, so, uh, do be careful. I'm gonna go for the hardest star first here. <laughs> and fuck up immediately, perfect. Really? I didn't get the triple jump there? Okay, I, I saved it. Thankfully. Alright, so we get over here. And do all that correctly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fuck that up. Of all things! Almost gave myself a heart attack there. Snowman's Land actually has a bunch of very fast stars, if you know what you're doing, so... Oh, nope, fuck that up. You can triple jump up there. Um, if you fuck up the triple jump, then just do it the... do it the intended way. You're at the hour mark, uh, which is, frankly, we are a lot further than I expected I would be at that point. Now for, um, revenge on those bullies. Beautiful. When I discovered I could do that, I was ecstatic. That's some of my favorite shit right there. The Mario Stunlock is incredibly OP. Uh, now for a star I might fuck up, but that I have figured out the recovery strats for, so... No! I almost did that right! That's unfortunate. Oops. So yeah, if you get dunked into the lake, you can always go, uh, recover with this. Two times negative. Thank you for the follow. This is doing alright. One more star here. Yeah, Mirio. Almost fucked that up. There we go. That's what I'm actually trying to do uh, that first time. So I showed off both the recovery strat and the normal strat. Hell yeah. Calmly avoid that snowman who can end this. Uh, if you lose this Koopa shell, you're kind of boned because of these two. Okay. That snowman can also fuck you up on the coin route. Whoop. Okay. Uh, Rainbow Road and TikTok Clock. God help me. This is where the fun begins. I also just almost saved and quit there. That would have added a little bit of time to this. So, up to the third floor. Me not paying attention. This is where the shit occurs, particularly the first star. It's a good thing I have 14 lives. <laughs> Here comes the speedrun police. Yeah. 
I am going to do the safe rainbow ride strat. Um, I have managed to do the wall, like the faster wall kick version, but I'm not quite confident enough in it yet. Um, that'll probably be one of my first like time save bullshit things. But uh, let's get this star out of the way. Okay, strong start. Add infinitum, thank you for the follow. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, which means that's gonna happen. Okay, take two. Oh shit, unless this fucking spiny destroys me. <sighs> uh, this jump is awful, if you don't know. It is incredibly tight. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> that one's so much better than it could have. And the next time I do a 70 star run, that is absolutely what is going to kill it. Oh, that star is terrifying. That star right there is legitimately one of the hardest in the entire, like, speed run. Okay, I almost thought I missed that, which would have been, uh, not great. Okay, that worked out pretty well. I know, I was, I was holding my breath so hard when I took that second jump because, like, even though we found a setup and a call like 10 minutes ago, or I guess not 10 minutes ago, but uh, I, it, it's still just fucking terrifying. Uh, we are only getting one more star in Rainbow Ride, by the way. The 63rd star is the toad that is on the third floor here. For the record. Okay, that makes my life a little bit harder. Yeah, fucked it up. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, though, that's like the first time I've eaten shit this run, which is incredible. Yeah, it's a pretty tight jump with uh, death as your only recourse, so... Not surprising. I, I would have been shocked if I got through Rainbow Ride without eating a death. Um, the biggest thing here is that you gotta move. There we go. Okay. Like, I'm playing this run pretty safe, but this is literally the first time I've timed this, which also means we're gonna game over pretty soon. Sir, please. <sighs> okay, uh... Oops. I ended that a little early. I also jumped in there too early. Shit! I also think I don't... My timing's fucked up, actually. Um, I'm missing a star. Fuck. Oh good, I got the literal worst time. <laughs> oh dear, uh, I have a bigger problem on my hands though. I don't normally get the TikTok clock 100 coins, so um, I'm a star short of 70, huh? I also missed that jump, oops. Boy, uh, a lot of mistakes have been made. God, uh, fuck this. I'm gonna just... All of that was bad. Cause yeah, 63. Yeah, there is absolutely no way I'm doing the wing cap one up here. What you're supposed to do is go in this at mid, at a... Uh... 
Yeah, it's definitely the play in the future. Uh, if you fuck up the clock, just get the fuck out. Ah. Well, this is a bit sloppy. I do not like this part of the clock very much. Or most of the clock, honestly. Like, jeez, I am having a s I'm having a time here. But yeah, I do agree that uh eating a death if I fuck up is probably the way to go. Oh jeez. Fuck me. I mean, I do have bigger problems right now. <laughs> in that I am going to have to go get a star I haven't practiced. I could have sworn I had enough, though. I'm uh, not entirely sure... Like, where I missed... <laughs> wow. I have psyched myself the fuck out. Time to just calm myself down and reset. Especially because this clock is a bit of a motherfucker. Um, so the run, like, basically the timer that I had here, or like the thing that I had here, uh, expects me to get the 100 coins here, which I don't quite know the route for. Um, it's so weird, I thought I had the correct number for this. I believe I got fucked up by one of the things. Oh, well. Okay, so let's try to do this the correct way. Uh, that was not the correct way. Basically, if I can just jump upwards, I'm fine here. I'm not sure why Mario is not doing that well. God, this was such a good run, too. <laughs> and then I had to think about things, and thinking is the enemy. If I fucking- oh my god. Alright, in the future I'm just gonna not fuck with that. Mmm. <laughs> thinking was the issue here. Yeah, my muscle memory, uh, A is not super developed for TikTok clock, B is, uh... Alright, let's do this as safe as we can, which is, you know, unfortunate, but it's not like I got a time to beat, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and if I figure out, like, what the last star I should be getting is, because, uh... Ugh. Two stars here. Um, you could just long jump to that other one. I've already missed that once, though, which isn't amazing. Yeah, basically, because I because I was thinking about star rooting and what I fucked up, uh, I was pretty messed up. The worst part is, like, it's gonna take me a while to beat this time just because I did everything else right here. And I mean, part of it is I've been playing this game all day and I am very warmed up, but, like... The, the amount of times that things went right that could have gone wrong have been absolutely incredible here. Okay. Woo! So yeah, there's three more stars that I get here. Um, and I just have to remember the exact ways to... Then I guess I go down and get Wiggler's Red Coins in uh, Tiny Huge Island, because I know how to get that. Oh. 
Yeah, there are also like a there's also a ridiculously difficult triple jump right where like on those three boxes over there that I've been practicing all day and have not been able to do. So we are not doing them in this run. I believe this is the spot I want to be on. If I can, you know, flip to it properly. There's this star. Yeah, well, I can certainly tell you my TikTok clock spit is going to be extremely gold next time I do this with an actual root. I also jumped in there too early. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm eating a death here. That will be faster. Because I need to go all the way to the top here, and I need it to be stopped to do that. The worst part when you die is that it takes, like, it's really tough to get back into the clock on time, uh, for, like, the first time around. Wow. That was me trying to go a little too fast there. Whoops! Yeah, like, if you don't get in as fast as possible on the death reset. I might have to, like, practice a strat for that, because I'm sure I can do something to get in on the first round. And god, my rooting in TikTok clock in general can be so much faster than this in general. It's just a very dangerous level, because there's a lot of corners you can hit and a lot of places that you can go uh, that will just kill you or send you, like, ridiculously far back, you know? Like, each mistake you make on here is the possibility of giving being, like, a 20-second time loss, if not more, which is uh, a bit terrifying. Okay, here's where we want to be. Oops. Wow. Oh, God. That was just Mario not turning around. Yeah, Rainbow Road and TikTok Clock are both just ugh kind of places. Yep. It's the sort of thing that like you see in a lot of other parts of the game that you're asked to do similar challenges, but you're not punished with death when you don't meet those challenges, uh, which is sort of the biggest thing. TikTok Clock will essentially punish every single mistake you make in a way that, like, no level before it has. You know, shit like what I was doing there, where I, like, missed my wall kick and, uh, sent myself into the death zone. Gave myself a death, Dunkaroo. So, the big thing here is I have to, like, actually get the jump off. There we go. That's another thing that I could have done to save time, but no. All right, let's go for the longer one first. Oops. Wow, not a fan of that. Now this part here, where I have to hit this ledge at an angle. Set at an angle. Ugh, I almost just killed myself there, but I didn't, and that's the important thing. <laughs> really? I did the triple jump wall kick and then landed in the fucking hole between them. That's funny. Well, I'm surprised at where that decided to put me, but you know what? I can accept such things. Oh, thank God. One more for the nicest number of stars. Yeah, like when you go in and actually get it correctly, uh, it's much faster to get back into the level. Oh, 
That's fun. The goldest split, I swear to god. I am gonna shave like 30 minutes off of this when I, when I get some practice going. That's not true, we've only been at it for like 15, but... There's, there's some little issues going on here. And just in general, I'm gonna have to like learn all of the roots better. Like even Rainbow Ride, I have better roots than uh, TikTok Clock right now. Partly because there are some absolutely stupid uh, roots in TikTok Clock that I need to learn. But partly just because I haven't practiced TikTok Clock enough. It's like, are you gonna are you gonna load in, sir? Okay, and then the last star over here is this. So yeah, I guess I have to go get Wiggler's Red Coins now, and then I'll be able to finish the split, which is just sad. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a fucking rainbow split next time. Oh, wrong room. Just because this couldn't get any slower. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the star that is sort of a backup for uh, TikTok Clock 100 coins, and I, I misread the, uh, what should we call it, like... Uh, guide that I was using as far as timing went. It didn't realize that it asked me to get seven stars in uh, TikTok Clock, like my my splits. So now I have to do this. Uh, not that. But it's closer. I uh, thought that would do it, but it didn't. That was just not great. There we go. Okay, this is a star I have practiced, but that I am still quite bad at the speed strats for, so uh, we're gonna take her nice and slow. Nice and easy. No no need to die in a star like this. Yeah, I really should have just checked the math on my run. <laughs> okay, well, we've hit 70 stars at least. That's cool. Yeah, there we go. The 15 minute split right there. <laughs> gonna turn that. We're gonna take that down a little bit. Uh, in future runs. But I wouldn't worry too much. I will make up all that time later. Okay, here we go. Um, this is another one that I don't yet know all of the movement to, but we'll make it work. I know kind of like the biggest skips and I know which ones that I like not doing like the triple jump over there because it's not it's, it's not going to save me that much and it's going to kill me if I fuck it up and I haven't practiced it so go figure um, we are not getting the red coins in this one because we have 70 now the run has enough stars to be sated out over here ride this along because um, I haven't really practiced the longer way of doing this yeah it's extremely not a 71 star run the rules specifically state like for this run specifically state that you can't get your 70th star uh, in the red coins for this level 
for this level. Which I think is kind of cute. We are taking the slow road here, which is fine. That pi that uh, one will like really fucking cling to you, that pole. Um, very difficult to not hit it if you're long jumping across like this. That said, we are uh, getting places right now. Which is why I am basically taking all of my time here. I am not in a rush. Here we go! Well, it's also because 70 star is a very weird category in the sense that, like, glitches are perfectly fine. It's just one specific glitch that is considered, or like two technically specific glitches that are considered, uh, not good. Speaking of not good, uh, me letting Bowser get the fire off here and also getting hit by it twice. Not, not amazing. That throw, though! Nope! <laughs> I thought I had that one, but I was... I was sorely mistaken. And I have to be very careful here, because uh, I can reset the fight at any minute. There we go. Yeah, the first throw was great. Uh, the second and third one's a little less so. Which is funny, because that throw is basically a gimme there. Oh god, if Mario hadn't stopped, I would have had him there. Oops, and then I didn't throw a spin him three times. Alright. Calm yourself, kiddo. Ah, oh boy. I went for it a little too early. Luckily, it's just going to pop us right back here, so... Take two! I actually did this literally perfect uh, when I was practicing this with Ty. Eh, uh, that's not so bad. This fight actually isn't super duper hard. Um, you do just kind of want him to not fill the court with fire if possible. Oh boy, which he's gonna do now. There we go. Nope, too early. Double jumps here, because he breaks a thing. And then we go again. I think I need to get more comfortable with uh, throwing at him, or like diving for him when I'm not fully in sight. Like, I, I knew I could hit him behind behind the tail there. That should... Wow! I'm actually shocked that didn't hit. Whoa! Was not expecting the sprint, Bowser. I believe you're now closer to this one, so... There we go. That's one. You're now closer to the first one. Uh, but you're actually even closer to this one, so... Okay. Damn! I was pretty sure I didn't have that one, but I almost did. Whoops. Oh, he gave me a freebie there, and I wasn't ready for it. Okay. So, fair to say, new personal best. The Amazing Fi, thank you for the follow. Amazing Fee, maybe. There we go. I, uh... Got under an hour and a half, even though I forgot a fucking star in the run, so... Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> I 
And yeah, there's a little bit of room for time save after that. <laughs> okay. And yeah, basically an hour and a half was like my first goal for this. I was pretty sure that like, like I... I watched other people who had done this. Also, Hot Mouse, I don't think I ever actually uh, thanked you for following. So thank you for following. Yeah, so like, I would say that up until, honestly, the third floor, this run went about as good as it could have for the amount that I practiced. Um, rainbow Ride went really, really well, especially the cruiser crossing the rainbow, which is gonna fuck me over in a later run that is definitely going to happen. Uh, but overall, this, like, ev everything that I had practiced up until Floor 3 went really, really well this time. I did a lot of safe strats, but they worked. So yeah, uh, not too bad of a way to, stu to do this, literally the first time. I am definitely gonna have to figure out what my deal is with this, uh run here. Like, with this part of it specifically, I guess. Um, TikTok clock and all that. Still. Nice. Hour 27. Soup du jour. Thank you for the follow. And Mysterious Druids and the Admiral 4. Thank you all for the follows. There we go. Yeah, they're all coming in now. Mario. Let's see, a time of 127.35. If I look at the emulator category, uh... Would put me at 189th in the, uh... The, in the, uh, setup, or in the rankings specifically for emulator, because they're actually broken apart by N64 and Virtual Console and emulator. Oh yeah, because there's a Dracobat 10 as a minute 27, 13, and then the next person has a minute 29. So yeah, I'd be 191st in this. In the emulator. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah, I've been learning this game for, I don't know, three or four weeks now? Um, and I mean, admittedly, I don't have a job, so that helps, but... I'd say all this went pretty fucking good! Uh, out of... so basically, if you submit literally any run, uh, that they can verify, like, with video proof to speedrun.com, uh, they will allow it on. So it's out of- there are 225 entries specifically in the emulator category on speedruns.com and the, uh, last two of them are over five hours. <laughs> so, like, literally everything. They, they will accept literally everything. Um, I think I might have to show them, like, that I have the version? Or, like, what version it is, which I think I can do if I go, like, weird about it. Um, no, I think it's capturing the game here. Yeah, I could set something up for that, set up another scene. See if I do this correctly. All right, remove the old SM64, and I'm sure you're all very excited by me actively fucking with OBS in this. Get window capture. Uh, 64, which of course tries to grab live split immediately. Oh, does that not have the window title in it either? Well, that's fun. Well, transition that over anyway and have the proper Project 64 uh, bottom version 
I'm sure there's a way you can just automatically get that, but eh, whatever. Either way. Yeah, that is true. We did just spend that, like, the credits loop doing that, so. <laughs> this is fine. Ugh. All right. Well, it's 1230, and as much as I would love to do another run, uh, I probably should go to bed, given that this is now what my time is, uh, what my new time to beat is. But overall, really good first run. I'm super happy that everyone uh, who came to join did so. And obviously, if you enjoyed it, thank you for all the follows. Uh, feel free to follow. Always happy to accept bits, subs. Uh, there's a tip jar at the bottom, that sort of thing. But other than that, I hope everyone enjoyed. I am definitely going to be doing more 70 star runs. Uh, this is obviously a time that I can improve, but like... Honestly, I would love to see how far down I could go here. Uh, James I. Cameron, I just beat Super Mario 64 70 star run in, in 1 hour and 27 minutes. Which was pretty good. Pretty good, especially considering I started speedrunning Mario like a month ago. So, pretty happy overall. Um, and I guess actually one last thing before I go, uh, Serene and I will be streaming a mystery game tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern, so if you're capable of watching that, if you're not at work, uh, feel free to come in and enjoy. Other than that, see you later.